Hi, I'm Selena, and I'm from McQueen's Flowers in London. So this week's colour palette has been inspired by fruit, specifically peaches and apricots. They both have quite a lot going on when you look at them closely and have a lovely mix of warm tones, ranging from orange and crimson to sort of a buttery yellow. And um, all of these colours have been incorporated into this week's collection of flowers. The great thing about using lots of vessels in this way is that you can adapt it to any space you need it to go on, whether that's a mantelpiece or a table or a coffee table. It's really versatile. We're going to start off using the base of foliage. Today we've got this really beautiful forum. It's got a really fun little textured leaf and this is a variegated variety. We want to start by snipping smaller pieces off of the main branch. And also keeping a few bits longer just to add some extra interest. So now we're going to go in with our second foliage, which is cottonus, also known as smoke bush. Um, it also grows in a very, very dark, almost purpley black colour, which you may recognise from uh, seeing out and about at the moment, it's growing everywhere. Like before, I'm going to just cut these down. The great thing about these branches is that you have lots of stems coming off, which is perfect for something like this, because you can cut yourself lots of smaller stems. Next we're going to go in with our roses, these are called Peach Jacazzi and they have this really lovely peachy centre and paler outer petals. Our next variety is a spray rose called Stenora and the reason I chose it was because it's almost a perfect colour match for the apricot. It starts off this quite deep orange in the middle and gets crimson towards the edges. Up, we've got Astrantia. This is called Rosita Pink, and it's a great filler in general, but perfect for this because it ties together all the colours that we already have. Next, we'll be using Lysianthus. This variety is called Mocha on account of the caramelly undertones and this very dark centre. So the great thing about Lysianthus is it also has lots of stems in the main branch, as it were, and you can snip them off and it essentially gives you five or six flowers in, in one, which is perfect for something like this when you're using lots of bits and pieces. Our last flower is Scabiosa. It is called Midsummer Snow. Next up, we have two different types of grass. This one is called Red Jewel, and we have Fountain Grass. We'll start off with Fountain. See where I got its name from because it, it really explodes like a, a fountain of water. The great thing about using grasses is that they're so small and delicate and fluffy, it just really helps to tie everything together and give another texture to your design. Our last 
ingredient is the red tongue grass. It has a sort of a tail-like shape to it, which is quite fun, and just adds another texture to your design. Now that we've added in all of our flowers, we're going to go ahead and put in some final touches. For this, I've forced along a selection of fruits. We've also got a selection of candles to add to this as well, which is perfect if you are celebrating a special occasion or just want to make it a little bit more special. There you have it. Your floral table runner is complete. As you can see, I've removed the vases that were on the sides of the table and spaced everything apart to use the full length, which works so well because it creates space between all the designs and you can see the beauty of each stem perfectly. We've also added in some fruit in between. There's no right or wrong when you do this. You can cluster little groups together, put them individually around the designs, and of course, some candy lights. We actually just have five very simple tea lights and three long dinner candles to create an undulation of candlelight throughout the display, but I think you'll agree it just really brings something out and makes it feel very decadent and ready for a party. If you haven't already subscribed to the McQueen's Flowers Crafted by You subscription service, head to the website to find out more.